It's cheat monologue black two thing of a is that an item? <laughs> I never knew this was here. You know, my headphones are kinda loud, but I'm just vibing to the uh Oh, it's summer now. It was spring when I booted up the game. What? Oh, is that a clown? Castilia City. Castilia City music is what I'm vibing to. This might be one of my favorite songs in this entire game. So good. I can't. I'm sorry. I like music. Okay, so. Well, that was fast. What is this, episode 5? We have a bicycle already? Now you know what that means. These key items. These key items. Register! Register! Yeah, that'll do. One thing I love that this game introduced is the ability to register multiple items! Also might be one of my favorite tracks in this entire game. I love the energy of this bike music! Hmm. I haven't heard this music since the black and white cage lock, which if you're not familiar with that, that is the first series- Do we actually have to do what this guy says? You haven't visited the metal office, and it looks like battle company. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go into the battle company then, because that's going to be good experience. Hello, friendo. Um, but yeah, that's the last time that I heard, like, a lot of the music I'm going to be hearing in this series. Also, that is crazy. Okay. Hello. Hello, experience shit. Holy crap. Holy carp! Um... But yeah, that's the last time I heard a lot of the music we're hearing in this series, and... I wasn't really paying as much attention to the music in that series, because... What pocket is it? Oh, it went to the bottom, that's... wonky. I will give Laser Beam the experience share, that'll be fine! I wish they would, like... You know what would have been really cool if, with the floor numbers? Is if the floor numbers told you the highest level of mana on the floor, and there were, like, different ones for, um... Different things. You know what I mean? That would be really cool, and it's based off of, like, New York City, right? Um... This whole region is based off of... I think it's the state of New York, and this is supposed to be, like, a... The one based off New York City, but... I don't know if it's to the whole region's based off of NYC or not, but the point is, right, we've got these huge buildings, so much activity going on, it would have been such a great idea for them to just have, like, several months, or several months, several floors be accessible in places like the Battle Company. That is intimidating. I don't think that affects me. Oh, Nightshade, okay. I thought I had Astonish. No. Oh, that's Laser Beam that got Astonish, wasn't it? Okay. I guess Typhon doesn't really matter here. I'm scared, Martha! Okay, so now we're gonna resist- now we're gonna resist that. We're gonna go for Absorb. I just wanna get a feel for this. It does, like, nothing. It did four damage, good to know. It did four damage, good to know. Uh, it doesn't- it doesn't get hit by crits, that's nice. I mean, I'm just gonna heal myself a little bit, just gonna speed up a bit, it's fine. We're gonna be here a while. The fence curl literally don't affect me. You freaking dream mist spewing. Hello? You know what it you know what it honestly reminds me of is it almost reminds me of those pillow pets. Except kind of not, because like it doesn't have the body of a pillow, but just like the way it curls up looks like a pillow, so like but that's like not a, you know what it, you get it. You get what I'm saying. If you don't, please exit the room. Leave the video running, I want your watch time. But, but leave the room. Never enter this room again, just leave my videos on all the time. Obviously I'm joking, and I have to say that because it- Screw you! Freaking Musharni! Frick! Frick! Alright, this, this, this Mushan is dead. Good stuff. Oh boy. No way to tell if it had 1 HP or 2, but Laser Beam is level 15! Hoo-hoo! Aw, oh, Quick Ball's nice. Yeah, Metal Company's really good, because, like, I, I, I don't know how I feel. I get super self-conscious when I do this, 
I like just talking... I, I like just... Talking... About... Like, I, I like being informative and like talking about my opinions on things when I do these Nuzlocks. Even though I know that's not like the style of content these Nuzlocks are, usually, typically. So like, I'm, I may be a, a regular clerk female. I don't think anyone refers to themselves as that, but okay. Um... But, like, I don't know, I just like talking about it. And, like, yeah, the Battle Company is just a really di Oh! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm scared, Martha! This may be a bad play. I, I, mm. Hot Cactus, please don't die. I don't have another revive token yet. Okay, okay, good. Absorb is incredibly weak. We're fine. We're fine. Do we do we fire spin? We fire spin. It's too slow, Mons, so we do outspeed. Let's go, let's go! Good, good. Get that get that little bit of super effective damage. Alright, alright, alright. You gonna make a mistake? I like when you do that. Alright, so now it's gonna take just tiny bits of chip damage over time. The last few turns, should buy enough time. Oh dear. Uh, not really. Okay, um... Okay, so I guess Fire Spin is our most damaging move, which is weird. Yep, by a long shot. Well, goodbye, Hot Cactus. It's alive! Okay, if Razor Leaf crits were dead anyway, we have to commit to Fire Spin. Down with the turtle! Yes! I have to go back and heal. I have to go back and heal. I can't do this. This is why I don't do, like, hard mode stuff. I mean, I could just grind. I could just grind. Oh. Turns out I have to record this another day. Quick cut. Turns out it's the same day, I just had to wait like 10 minutes. <laughs> Back to battle comp- Oh, I clicked out of the window. I was like, oh god, is my controller broke? Nah, we- we good. What- what- what did I click on? Whoops. But you know, like I was saying, like, battle company's really good because you just get a lot of really good items. <laughs> really? Really now? So you get two quick balls and a scope lens. Damn. And of course, a boatload of experience and experience share. I mean, you just get all the good stuff. Also, while I was cut away, I did decide to go ahead and heal just before I went and save stated and everything. So I'm healed now. I figured it'd be better to just do that off screen and then pick up where we left off. Nice and clean, aside from the music. But you know, you can have a little bit of a thing. I don't know. I don't know. Look, we're going with Nightshade. It may not be, um... It may not be proper damage, but it's like 18 damage, so we're good. Hmm. Jelly should level up out of this battle as well. Good stuff. This should three-shot. Looks like this Hitmonlee's trying to sweep me, and I don't like that. So as long as it can't actually hit me, we're fine. Okay, we're good, it's dead. In before Absorb leaves it with one HP. Neat. Please don't bully me. All right, I don't think it has a move that can hit me because it's just spamming Meditate. Wouldn't it be funny if that's all it has? I doubt it though, I doubt it though. All right, Jelly did indeed level up. Does Laser Beam? No, okay, big sad. Oh well. Oh well. What do you give me? Timer balls. Oh, I see the hair back there. I think you can escape me, or that I can escape you. Apparently, it basically it's it's basically the two of us. Actually, no, I was gonna say the two of us have Arena Trap, but I guess that doesn't really work, because Arena Trap Mons can escape each other. It's me, and I have to kill it, and that's so disappointing. Can I just turn on that cheat code where you can catch Trainer Mons? Can I just do that, please? I don't want to have to kill the Chingling. 
Look at the cute little bell bouncing around ringing. Oh, don't you dare use Astonish on me. Look at that, look at that, that's not bad damage. That's not bad damage, that's a weak move. That's a weak move. I do want to try like a Chingling Chimeco solo run. I could make it a really funny rule where I'm allowed to catch Chinglings and Chimecos, so that it's kind of not a solo run, but also is. It wouldn't be a Nuzlocke either. Oh, maybe I'll do that. I kind of want to be careful with solo series because... Bomb Mushroom. Oh, Maniacs are a thing in this gen, though. Damn it. Hello, Janet the Manator. Janitor Manator, yes! Oh, I thought he was gonna battle me first, okay. No, because he's the guy that runs the Battle Company of Black and White 1! And now it's been a couple years. Months, or whatever the hell it's been since Black and White 1. That is a Typhlosion, baby! Hey, it's funny, I just posted a thing on Twitter at the time of recording this. Because I got curious, and I'm like, yo, I wonder what gender people associate with each Pokémon. Funnily enough, I listed Typhlosion as male. It's not each Pokémon, it's starters. So, um, it's all of the starters final forms, plus every evolution, plus Eevee, uh, Gigantamax Eevee, and the whole Pikachu line rather than just Raichu, because first off, it would be weird to not include Pikachu since we're, you know, the whole, it's like, technically every time Pikachu's been a starter, his final form has been Pikachu? I say his. I refer, okay, so Pikachu, I actually, in my thing, did not put Pikachu with an associated gender, and that is because Laser Beam is level 17, and learning Confuse Ray absolutely will ditch. Um. Uh, uh. See, Disable could be really good, but I. Mm. We're gonna go with Confuse Ray, because 100 accuracy confusion. We roll with that. Thought it was 55, but okay. Victini! <laughs> I'm scared, Martha! I think Jelly's my best bet just because we're a fire type right now. I'm also gonna use a, a potion real quick. I'm scared, Martha! I'm out! I'm out! Don't have pursuit! Don't have pursuit! Yes! Oh yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We have to just throw rocks at this thing. Hello? <laughs> no belief, please, Victini. Oh, we're good. Just don't burn me and we're fine. Burn yourself. As that as that one YouTube poop said. I'm pretty sure if I say the word in that YouTube poop the one of the words in that YouTube poop's title, I run the risk of getting demonetized when my channel gets monetized. I don't know why you wouldn't just go for the headbutt. You have to speed me, but okay. Come on. No! So close! Okay, screw it. I know it's going to resist this, but this should be fine. Screw you. Also, this man has a freaking Victini, by the way. Adorable Mon. Adorable Mon. Uh, I love Victini so much. I want one. I want one in real life. Mostly because I have terrible luck, but also because it's a really damn cute Mon Jelly and Laser Beam leveling up. Hot Cactus is the odd one out. I am commentating this like a sports announcer for some reason. Wait, what? Oh. I released it. Okay. The XP share, any Pokemon that fall. Oh. Oh, so in Black and White 2. Oh, okay. I mean, I knew that Black and White is when the difficulty started to decline. I didn't realize it kept going in Black and White 2 from there. So, in Black and White 1, you have to go through the Battle Company to get the experience share. Mm -hmm. But in Black and White 2, they give you the experience share to go through the Battle Company. With Why? I mean, I'm fine with it for the purposes of making a Nuzlocke easier, but man... Also, I skipped over this lady explaining Geonet. Nobody cares about Geonet. The S services don't work, and I mean, you know what? That's... What would I use them for in a Nuzlocke anyway? In a randomizer, no less. I think it's gym time, though. I th there might be something we have to do first, but either way, we can buy 15 super questions. I'll buy five for right now. 
Um, actually, no, don't we have to go do the sewer stuff? I should buy Great Balls here. How many can I buy? Uh, 11. We'll buy 7. That way we're at 10. And then we'll buy 10 regulars. Get that spicy ass Premier Ball in our bucket! Yes! Very good! Okay, now I believe we head to the gym street, and then from there, we'll have to go to the sewer? No, maybe not. I'm looking for the gym leader, it might be trouble, and then he took off. Berg vanished again! Oh no! Oh yeah, we did have to come here, okay. Lyris, Berg, blah blah blah, I'm actually reading the dialogue because I don't know where to go. Because I've only played through Black and White 2 once, and I'll be honest, I've actually never finished them. So, um... Once we hit a certain point, I will be going completely blind. I know I got to Elisa's gym. That might have been the last one. It's not here, is it? No, okay. Oh, God. I know I got to Elisa's gym, and that might, that might be where it was. I don't know. This is where we came in, so that's the wrong place. Uh, is it the one all the way on the right? Oh, yep, found it. Nope, yep, it's not. It's the one all the way on the right. Okay, cool, good stuff. Wouldn't it have been really annoying if, like, they had her walk right, but it was actually the one right down there? Oh, that would be funny. Annoying, but absolutely, unarguably, high freaking hilarious. But yeah, the the reason that I I just called Pikachu a he, but also put down that I have no gender I associate with Pikachu, I nope. No clue. No clue where they are. Yes, this is the sewer part. But, um, I don't associate Pikachu with being male. I associate Pikachu with being more female. The whole the whole line, except for uh, regular Raichu, who I kind of 50-50, but lean toward male on. Uh, yes, I am ready to go. Okay. Can I leave now? Oh, I can. Okay. I'm not going to right now, but I can. There's an encounter down here, isn't there? He's gonna kill it. He's gonna kill both of them. <gasps> what the hell is this? What are these choices? I'm gonna absorb all the star after. I'm down to catch whatever this fan beat doesn't kill. Oh god. Okay, that's a problem. I should have hit the, uh, the crawd off there. <laughs> I'm saying. Oh, that hits both of us, and I don't resist it anymore. Oof. Okay. Um, I'd rather take a flying type here. No bully stutter! All right, we're normal type now. That's not good. Okay, good, 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 good. We are, we are going to take that Crawdaunt down. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm really scared. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we have to switch out. Um, We're going to switch to Laser Beam. I don't mind the Crawdaunt. We don't have a Dark type, and having a Water type that can't color change might be a good thing. Um, I'd rather the Star Raptor, though. I don't want to speed up just in case something goes horribly wrong here. Yep, okay. You're gonna kill the Star Raptor. That's very rude of you, Fanpy. I should kill the Fanpy is what I should do. That's what I should do. <laughs> Laser Beam leveled up, that's cool. Assuming Crawdaunt doesn't kill the Fanpy with a crit. <laughs> Please do that, no! No, I really love how double battles in this gen, they're just, they hit both Mons when they hit both Mons. All right, we've only probably got one shot at this. All right, Ryan, look, here's the thing. I got a proposition for you, and it goes like this. I'll give you milk and cookies like you Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like you Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like you Santa Claus. Woo! Although it's female, so it's Ray, not Ryan. But that's fine. We have a crab now. And we're going to go heal up, because that actually kind of just absolutely decimated my party. <laughs> But the 
That's fine. This is not one of those weird hard mode Nuzlocke where you can only go into each Pokemon Center once and can't use any like items. You people are insane. I feel like the best strat in that kind of Nuzlocke is to, well, you know, I see Team Plasma, but I see a Lepipere. Now, uh, Lepiberry is one of the good ones, isn't it? That's paralysis. Yeah, so close. Oh, that. Oh, oh yeah, that's PP though. That's PP though. Oh, good stuff. Oh, good stuff. I meant to go back in. Here. I'm scared, Martha. <laughs> yeah, this is a problem. Um. Does he heal me between? Jovixton, you are a legend! He heals you between battles, I didn't know. Yas! How did you go for takedown again? Oh well, I don't have to worry about being my ghost stab being resisted either. Or about bubble dealing damage to me! And it crits Fanfi now, screw you. Watch them both crit on Fanfi? No, okay. Alright, I'm gonna focus down on, on, on the left one. I hate how the left one is on the bottom. That has always bothered me about double battles. Another crit on Fanpy. What the hell? Mm. I should check ability on Crawdon. Oh my god. I should check Ray's ability because Ray might have a really strong ability. Oh, rollout. Okay, too bad you can. Fanpy, why weren't you just rollouting from the start? Because now you're dead. Unless, aw oh, shucks. Oh, the music changes when your partner has it. I like this touch. I just wish that it were, like, that there was a setting for it, for, like, what kinds of battles it could happen. I think you should, like, okay. So the way to optimize this is have this be a thing, but have at least two things. Uh, well, three, I guess. So setting number one, the ability to turn it off completely should be present, right? Because if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's whatever. I would probably have it off most of the time because it actually triggers my anxiety really bad. But, um... You should also have the option to turn it off in uh, non-single battles because that could just get really hectic. Uh, you should also have the option to turn it off in important story battles. Bosses, uh, grunt encounters... I mean, yeah, and even then, you can do minor and major story battles as settings as well, you know? Because, I mean, oh, this, the music in Gen 5 is so on point. And if you don't agree, you're wrong. Okay, uh, that's terrifying. Bye, fan P Oh, or not. Okay, fan P, if you don't go for roll- Oh, no. Okay, we're good. <gasps> oh, no! Fan P, you legend! Yes! Do we take out the Moltres in one turn? We do! Yeah, Jovixton! Jovixton, you are insane! Oh, Jovixton is the best rival I've ever had in a Nuzlocke, baby! And Jelly is level 20 now. Woo-hoo-hoo! Aw, -hoo! Oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm gonna look something up about color change. I'm curious. If I just look up the words color change, will Pokemon come up? No. Nope. No, it probably would have, uh, at the beginning of this year, but you know what? I got no issue with what's coming up. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's things that if I look deeper into are awful, but eh, you know what? I choose not to do that, and assume that they're good, positive, wholesome things. I'm not gonna go into much more detail, I'm just going to assume. Okay, so anyway, let's see here. Color change! Uh, okay, that's gens 3 and 4, okay. Color change now activates after the last hit of a multi-strike. Future Sight and Doom, Doom Desire now activate. That's a cool change, I guess. Color change will not activate when it's hit by a Cypless Revelation Dance? I don't know what that is. The side of battle has no effect. Okay, so it's... Okay, so the mechanics of that would not have been changed in this gen. Uh... On a Pokemon, this is a damage type struggle or shadow moves. Color change, change the type. This color change does not activate. Okay, uh... 
does not activate if the Pokemon is hit by a move of the same type as itself, even if it's dual typed, which I learned on my own. Does not activate if Substitute is hit. If it has two types, it'll only have a single type after applied. If a Pokemon of this ability is hit by Weather Ball uh, during Shadow ER, it becomes normal type. Color change will activate after the first hit of Multi Strike. Uh, Doom Desire or Pain Split do not activate it. Status conditions are inflicted before color change activates. Color change will make the Pokemon become a type. This means it's status condition. Pokemon can still be affected with it. Example: Pokemon with Color Change is this hit with Poison Sting. Has a chance to be Poison before it becomes a Poison type. That doesn't tell me how Stab works. How does it work with Stab? <laughs> I'm going to assume, based on that, though, that I, if I had to hazard a guess, it probably is the same thing for Stab, where it, it probably counts everything out. Why do I have Stab? Okay. Where it probably counts everything out when you select the move. You know, when all the moves are being calced and then color change triggers after all that. I think it would also make sense, too, because it's less on-the-fly, like, math for the game. I mean, I guess it's all on the fly, but, like, there's less it has to think about, if that makes sense. But I don't know how this stuff works, so... I don't know. Uh... Hmm. What I do know... Is that we can get another encounter. Is it up here? I mean, yeah, that's not what I was thinking of, but yes. Um... Hold on, because now I have to look up Castalia Sewers. get to... During autumn and winter, they're dry, blocking some areas and removing the requirement of surf to access others. Um, relic passages. Okay, so what if I go to Castellia City, then? How do you get to that little park? There's a little park area. There's a little park area. Places of interest. Special Battle Company... As by Analytics, Ocean Piers, Castellia Street, Mode Street, Narrow Street, Gym Street, Central Plaza, Castellia Park, only available via the sewers in black and white, too. Small gold buildings, similar to National Park and Geodo, should like Pokeball, Dark Grass on the right, here's on the left, where it all began. Okay, but how do I. Mm -hmm. How to get to Castellia Park? One of the sets of stairs, it's blocked until you clear Team Plasma from the sewers. Oh, does it have to be dry? It means I have to mess with my clock. And Castellia Sewers, there's a flight of stairs to the left you keep heading. Uh, we're gonna only be accessed by one of the sets of stairs in the sewers, blocked until you team clear. Until you team clear Plasma, yes. That's also not helpful. All right. Okay, that's a full Nuzlocke episode. That's not what I want. Here's a minute and a half long guide on how to get there. Okay. This is using a crappy webcam, but that's fine. That's legit. It's from seven years ago. We didn't have technology then. Actually, it's oh, really good webcam quality video. I won't even lie. This video has 22,000 views. Okay, yeah. So it does require dryness. Oh, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. Also, did he heal my mons again at the end of that last battle? Jevixton, you are a legend and I love you for it, man. Yeah, no, I don't believe it actually requires uh, dryness at all. Oh, there's the burp. I'm sorry, Mikey, it was you. Oh my god, I just realized my choices for capturing mons here were Mikey and Ryan. That's pretty sick. I had two Poketubers that I had the option of getting. Nah. Nah. I'm out of here. I didn't ask for your Sask. Oh my god. Mixis. Mixis. Well, now I'm a flying type. That's cool. Alright, let's just casually resist everything this Star Raptor has to offer me for lunch. Thanks, bye. I'm out of here.
Let me out. Thank you, friendo. It doesn't even require surf or dryness. Because here we are. Castelli City Encounter. Even though I'm not going to count this as if I can fish in here later, I'm not going to count it as the same encounter because there are mons here that you straight up can't get anywhere else in Unova. And like, yeah, so. We can chance getting two mons at once, but have a huge risk factor in getting them. Or we can settle for one singular mon. Ooh, big thing. I'm feeling risky. Dark Grass could give us a single anyway, so. I mean, you know, we'll take the chance. Okay. Okay. These are not amazing mons by any stretch of the imagination, but they ain't so bad. They ain't so bad. I'm gonna go for the Venom. I want to catch that thing. How much damage do we deal to Relicanth with a bunch of spice? Damn, that was a 20 damage. Wow. Okay. Hot Cactus is confused. Good stuff. All right, so as long as he doesn't just get a... Well, never mind. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't get a boatload of crits, uh, I'm going to try and hit the Venonat with a Psychic. It didn't do much to the Relicanth. And while I know Relicanth is going to be better than a Venonat... Oh, Venonat's poison, isn't it? Oh, it's alive is what it is. Not for long, it's not. Aw, shucks. Up. Oh. Okay, we're good then. <laughs> this Relicanth is doing stuff, man. Okay, screw you. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized that I'm stupid for having caught Ray. Was Jelly water when that happened? Ha! Oops. I'll pretend it was. I'm sorry. I just realized, uh, no, I have to go for Relicanth here, so I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. Wait, 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 actually. Wait, what did I just get hit by? <laughs> Can I go for the Venonat, actually? Because it's a poison type. I don't know. I think I actually have to go for Relicanth here, but I'm no, I'm water type, right? Oh, no, but I have a water type, so we're fine. Um, okay. I've gotten a little confused. I'm very disoriented today, I guess. Uh, that is an oops on my part. Okay, so we're just going to Nightshade the Venonat. And then, I don't know if that's badly poisoned or not. <laughs> it's like a slightly darker shade of purple in the GameCube games, and I've noticed that, and I don't know if Toxic Poison is like that in any other game in the franchise. Jelly's the rock type. Relicanth, don't you dare bully me. Uh, this is the issue with Chain Mono. Oh yeah, and I also have a rock type for Relicanth, too. Oh, okay, yeah. Relicanth is legal no matter how you slice it. That's good. Okay, sadly, you can only throw one ball per turn. We're gonna go with a Great Ball on Jelly's turn. Oh, it just uses it immediately. Okay. And Relicanth ain't want none of that. No, 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 no. Mm, I can't tell if that's more than we were taking. I'm scared I have to switch Jelly out. I have to switch Jelly out. Also, wait, does the Pokeball take up an entire turn if I do it that way, or did I just do something weird there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's impossible to aim without being fo- Well, screw you! <laughs> Alright, Rock Polish. So it does- Why does it take up an entire turn? That's dumb. That's dumb. Oh, well. Oh, crap. 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 I should have probably switched Hot Cactus out. <laughs> We good! <laughs> Alright, maybe Relicanth respects the classics. Oh god, I'm so sorry if that, if that Crawdon was an illegal catch. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend it wasn't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't die. Don't die, Hot Cactus. Yeah! Hot Cactus be too hot for that! I'm 
gonna super potion hot cactus on up. And then we're gonna rock polish with hot cactus. Just, just get go really fast, hot cactus. This is, a, this is a pretty much guarantee that we can actually hurt. Of course we did. This is pretty much guarantee that we can actually kill Relicant if we need to, though. So that's good stuff. I had this really bad, uh, really bad luck streak where Premier Ball. I have this really bad luck streak where every time I have an experience share on a mon for an extended period of time, they die. And I hate it. Because it's like... Oh my god. Still better than the Great Ball, dude. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That can't even kill us with a crit. Unless that was like the lowest low roll of all low rolls. And he gets the highest high roll of all high rolls to end all high rolls in Hyrule. He does not like Great Balls. I understand that. That's fine. They don't look that great. Honestly, you just can't beat the look of the classic Pokeball. Except you totally can. With the Premier Ball, or the Quick Ball, or the Timer Ball's Mohawk! Alright, if this ball doesn't work, this is way too risky a battle, and we're killing this thing. So... Relicanth, you did not heed my warnings. You also did not choose the correct Mon to attack. No, we're done. We're done. You had your chance. You had your chance. Now get out of... Oh, as we snap out of confusion, too. Out of my face, you fossil fish creature. Okay. Um, I want to go back and heal. I also want to get the uh, Relic Passage encounter, though. So, I'm going to check Ray's ability. Uh, poison doesn't damage you in the field, because Gen 5. Cool. Ray's ability is early burn. Interesting. Not a terrible starting moveset. We'll have to improve on that. We'll have to improve on that. Oh, God. One of very few things I think Gen 6 actually, like, improved on was TMs and how you can... Oh. Oh, okay. So water just makes this hella faster to get to. Um, but it's how you can actually just see if Mons can learn the TMs or not in the actual menus? I don't know. I don't know. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here so I can breathe. It's all become so clear. Your skin. It's thin. You're never gonna keep me down. Get me out of here. <laughs> no! <laughs> Mixies! Go to McDonald's and order a Mixies. Thank you, you dumb bird. You know what sucks about the sewer encount? Terz. You know what sucks about sewer encounters? I literally don't have something that can resist both of them. Even if I caught Relicanth, I would not have something that can resist both of them. I either have to choose to risk being weak to the water types when I run into Crawdon, which to be fair, it's only Bubble, so I guess it's not that huge of a risk, but I do have to risk that. Or I have to risk having weak defenses when Staraptor decides to yeet its face into mine. Even though it doesn't have peck, so it... It doesn't have a move or headbutt, so it doesn't have a move where it does that, but that's fine. We're gonna go back, we're gonna heal, we're gonna go to the Relic Passage. I forgot you can press Y to activate things. Iris, go away. Go get get back in my eyeball, thanks. <laughs> that one's gonna be... <laughs> that's gonna be one of those quotes. Mark my words. If... If... I ever blow up as a creator, if I ever get big... That's going to be one of those quotes when I have an out-of-context Twitter page that's going to come back to bite me, to haunt me, and to eat me alive like a cheeseburger. Except it won't matter because it, it's hilarious. But that, 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 that sentence, the sentence, please get back in my eyeball, will be on an out-of-context Twitter page if I am ever big enough to have one. I, I promise. I absolutely 137.63% promise you it will happen that way. Hello, Sewer and Huh, <laughs> there's a Remoraid here. Oh, God. I'm just going to pretend that Ryan was legal and hope I didn't screw that up. 
because, um... Did it just try to use a Psychic-type move on me? It did! You know, Remoraid... Remoraid's not the worst thing. It's a fish. I wouldn't have caught Remoraid. I would have skipped Remoraid. You know what, Staraptor? You know what, Staraptor? I didn't ask for your sask, but here we are. Aren't these both physical attackers, actually? Yeah, but I'm not winning this. <laughs> I'm not winning this. I ain't winning this. Uh, go with Hot Cactus. Hot Cactus seems to be the low level of the main three, of the core three, of the core four. I'm gonna throw rocks at this burb. Let's go. Let's go. Honestly, though, Staraptor... The Starly line is just the best regional burb line. And you can't change my mind. Also, wait. Of all eight generations, are two and three the only ones with two stage main birds? Oh, that's not the menu I meant to go into. Because, um... Hoot Hoot and Knocked Owl appear super early game, right? So I kind of associate them with being, you know, the early early game, you know, generic birds. And then, of course, Talo is your Pidgey of Gen 3. And then to Gen 4, you have Starly. Gen 5, you have Pita. Of Gen 6, you have uh, Fletchling? Um... Gen so <gasps> Ferret! <gasps> no! I have to do so much shenanig- Airlock. Okay, okay. I can shenanigans my way to this thing. Does Nightshade affect normal types? Big thing. Okay, so if Furret hits me- Okay, no it doesn't. So if Furret hits me with a non-normal type move- you know the best part is that if it doesn't do if it doesn't do this and it becomes illegal to catch. I got two more encounters here. Uh no! What is for it half by this level I hope it has rollout? You know you're in a weird spot when you're hoping something has rollout. Furret, Gen 5 learn set. Oh, I have to press the dialogue there, okay. There's not a little thing. Okay, okay um. Okay, so we're level 18. A leveling up. No, it's all normal. To okay, I won't be able to catch this thing. No! <laughs> Goodbye, furret! I wanted a furret! Ah! Okay, it's fine. We have two more chances to get an encounter here. Ooh, that actually poses a question. If I go into double grass and get a double, does it count as two encounters or three? I'll say two. I'll say two. Just because... It, that way, I'd still have to choose between the other two, but like... That way I can't just do three doubles encounters and have potentially six different mons to choose from. Because that would just be cheesing the system. And I'm already getting real weird with color change, and I need to pay attention to color change more. Because, oh god, I don't need illegal encounters at the hands of color change weirdness. Okay, um, we can catch that if it punches, <laughs> if it punches Jelly. We're gonna Bubble Beam it. Okay, it's gonna go for Focus Energy. That's... I'm scared. That's not... I can't catch you if you use Peck. You Peck. <laughs> okay, good. Nightshade's not gonna kill. Let's go! Let's go! We can get to the need to re no! Now I wish I had come up here first, because then the Venonat would have been legal. Damn it! Damn it! That's my fault. Oh, that's my fault for screwing up. You know what sucks about a chain monologue too is sometimes you can't just throw a quick ball, even with color cause cause color change. Right? One, two, three. Hit me with Poison Sting, and you're getting the ball, baby! Ho ho ho! 
What shall I name this Nidorino? Um... I'm gonna name him Dave. I don't know why I'm naming him Dave. But I'm naming him Dave. Holy crap, I've been in this recording for 40 minutes. So, um... I'm gonna go back to a Pokemon Center, because that's where I like ending my episodes. But, uh... So yeah, I suppose that, that is about going to do it for the... Mixies! Oh, I'm poisoned. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Actually, no, we're fine. We can kill this. But yeah, so that's about gonna do it for this episode of the Black 2 Chain Monologue, which may or may not have contained an illegal encounter. I'm not 100% sure on that. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, there's also a button for that. And if you press that button, of course, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what I can be doing better. I'll try. I'll try. Uh, unless it's my mic, in which case, I mean, I can try, but there's not much I can do about it. Um... Also, be sure to let me know if it was legal for me to catch Crawdon at the time, because I'm like... The more I think about it, the more positive I am it might not have been. No, but it was spamming bubble! No, 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 it was spamming bubble, so I would have been water type. Right? I don't know. I'll probably look over it in the footage when I'm editing these two episodes, but, uh, yeah. And I will take on the gym in the next episode. Episode. I swear to God, one of these days, someone's gonna start calling these accents of mine, like, offensive or something. And I'm just gonna be like, bruh, I literally don't know what these accents are. Like, yes, hello, I do not know what this accent is. I do not know. This is, I consider this Koopa accent. Okay. Koopa talk like this in Origami King. This is all I know. Okay? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And if I didn't mention it, I don't know.